In the quiet suburb of Greenfield, there lived a man named Mr. Thompson, a recluse who rarely ventured beyond the confines of his ramshackle house. His overgrown yard and boarded up windows were a source of curiosity and speculation among the neighbors, who whispered tales of strange happenings and eerie sightings late into the night. I first became acquainted with Mr. Thompson shortly after moving into the neighborhood. He lived two houses down from me, and from the moment I laid eyes on his dilapidated home, I felt a sense of unease wash over me like a cold wave. There was something about the way the shadows seemed to linger around his property, as if reluctant to let go of their hold on the crumbling structure. Despite my misgivings, I made an effort to be neighborly, offering a friendly wave whenever I passed by and occasionally striking up a conversation when our paths crossed. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was something off about Mr. Thompson, a darkness that lurked behind his polite smile and soft-spoken demeanor. As the months passed, strange things began happening in the neighborhood, pets went missing, strange noises echoed through the night, and rumors spread of a figure lurking in the shadows, watching and waiting. At first, I dismissed them as idle gossip, the product of overactive imaginations fueled by too many horror movies. But then, one fateful night, I glimpsed something that chilled me to the bone, a figure standing in Mr. Thompson's yard, bathed in moonlight and shrouded in darkness. It was him, of that I was certain, but there was something different about him, something that sent a shiver down my spine. His eyes gleamed with a feral light, his features twisted into a grotesque caricature of humanity. And as he turned to face me, I saw something in those eyes, a hunger, a thirst for something I couldn't begin to comprehend. Terrified, I fled back to the safety of my own home, my heart pounding in my chest as I locked the door behind me. For weeks, I couldn't shake the memory of that night, the image of Mr. Thompson's twisted form burned into my mind like a brand. But then, just as suddenly as he had appeared, Mr. Thompson vanished, leaving behind nothing but a trail of unanswered questions and lingering fear. Some said he had simply moved away, while others whispered of darker fates, a prisoner of his own demons, condemned to wander the shadows for all eternity. To this day, I still wonder what became of Mr. Thompson, and whether the darkness that consumed him still lingers in the quiet suburb of Greenfield, waiting to claim its next victim. And as I gaze out into the night, I can't help but feel a chill run down my spine, a reminder that sometimes, the true horror lies not in the monsters that lurk in the shadows, but in the darkness that dwells within us all.